The Columbus Ledger Inquirer in the state of Georgia is reporting that many U.S. citizens are applauding a decision by a judge in Georgia that could see Barack Obama struck from the presidential state ballot in the state of Georgia if Obama fails to prove that he fulfills the natural-born citizen constitutional requirement to be president. Deputy Chief Judge Michael Malahy in the Office of State Administrative Hearings denied a motion by Obama asking to dismiss the complaint that seeks to keep Obama's name off the state ballot during the March presidential primary. The judge's decision now sets the stage for a January 26 hearing on the issue in Fulton County, Georgia. The case, Farrar v. Obama, was also brought by J. Mark Hatfield, a Republican state representative from Georgia. The judge's ruling now opens the door for the attorneys involved in the case to depose anyone involved in this case, including Obama himself. The Georgia judge's ruling in response to President Obama's attempt to have the case dismissed stated, quote, the Georgia election code mandates that every candidate for federal and state office who is certified by the state executive committee of a political party or who files a notice of candidacy shall meet the constitutional and statutory qualifications for holding the office being sought, end quote. While millions of concerned citizens are not holding their breath over this case, since we have witnessed political wrangling and shenanigans in the past, we are praying that this case will finally be heard on its merits. If Georgia rules that Obama is not eligible for ballot placement in that state in the upcoming presidential elections, it could open the floodgates for other states to follow. It seems that a brave Georgia judge and court will now do what the U.S. Congress and the federal court system has failed and refused to do. At P.P. Simmons, we will keep you up to date on this unfolding story.